Hi, if you would like to slow down body aging, then I hope you can do some of my videos. This is a great one. It's really nice and relaxing. It's quite easy. So if you feel like you're a beginner today, or you are a beginner, then it's, per it's perfect. It's just a little bit of loosening up all around our joints and a little bit of strengthening and then a bit of relaxation. It's about 35 minutes well spent with looking after yourself. Self-care equals health care, taking responsibility for our health and staying healthy into old age. Let's do it. Grab a strap or a towel or a dressing gown or rope. So feet parallel, hip width, starting with shoulder mobility, preventing shoulders and spine going in that direction. So opening out, inhale, find a stretch, touch the stretch, exhale, release. While you're here, spreading your toes, really lifting your chest, find your stretch and release. Inhale, if you're a bit stiffer, you might just go to there. Exhale. If you have a sore shoulder, don't go into the pain. Just take it to your edge. If you're a bit more flexible, you might go a bit further. No force, no strain. Most people when they're older are a bit like this. So we are trying to keep our shoulders and spine more open, younger joints. It's not going to happen on its own. Do some work, make it feel good. And then we'll add on heels up. So a bit of stimulating blood flow with our calf muscles contracting, doing the shoulders and the calf muscles. Exhale. Coming up, heels, weight into the base of the big toes. Don't arch into your lower back. Also flexibility into the toes and ankles as well as strength. Flexibility into the shoulders as well as, as, well as working on strength in our back. We're gonna hold now, look straight ahead. 10, keep the breathing in and out through the nose most of the time. Weight into the base of the big toes, feeling the shoulders stretch, the chest lifted. Three, two, one, releasing. Put the strap behind you like this. Thumbs out. Go feet a bit wider than hip width. Hold your shoulders down and back. I'll show you from side on. Inhale. Lift the chest. Slightly arch. Exhale. If you're stiffer, you might go that far forward. And some people are more flexible, so I'll go a bit further. Coming up, push the hips forward, inhale. Coming forward, exhale. So loosening up our legs, our spine and our shoulders, working on strengthening our back, preventing rounded shoulders, preventing stiff legs and stiff spine, stimulating blood flow, lymph flow, gut flow, connecting into your body. The older we are, the more we, we need to do these exercises to keep the body younger. Make the, everything feel good. That's the main instruction. Just make everything feel good. Last one, we're going to hold the forward stretch. Just breathe and hold. Hold your shoulders back. Don't overstretch. Try to relax your neck. Spread your toes, squeeze up your knees. One more breath in and out. Squeeze in your core, push down to your feet, keep your core on, lifting up. You can put the strap to the side. 
and then put your hands on the back of the chair. Bring your feet hip width here, parallel, spread your toes, hips over heels, and holding this stretch. Work on reaching the crown of the head forward and your tailbone back. So getting as much length as you can. Fingers spreading, may as well work on our hands here. And as I've already said, toes as well as the spine. Also work on steady, conscious breathing. Try to hold your ears level with your upper arms, just keeping the neck lengthened and gently strengthening the neck extensors, the back of the neck. You can do this any time in your day at the kitchen bench or the desk. Or you can put your hands on the wall or if you're on a long drive, hands on the bonnet of the car. Looking after your spine, lengthening out the discs, um, the space in between each vertebrae. So the discs have more space. And then one more breath in and out. Coming out of the pose, just for a moment, stand with your awareness on good posture, keeping your chest lifted. And don't be like most older people. The chest is here and the head is here. So don't be most people. Be like some older people who are more connected to their body and have their chest lifted and good posture. It's not just about looking younger and feeling younger. It is about better blood flow to your brain. So slowing down brain aging. So the vertebral arteries the channels up through the brains and also breathing more freely. So if you're always like this, your breath is a bit restricted, a little bit shallower. Your diaphragm can't move freely because your belly's tense. So let's, let's have good posture all the time or most of the time. Good. The next one is a very important exercise. The older you get, the more important it is um, for leg strength. So some people when they're old can't get in and out of a chair. That's how weak their legs get. So that's not going to be us. We're going to be one day 90. So sit on the chair, push down to your feet and then stand up and sit down. Stand up, sit down. Just find the right place for you. Keeping your straight back. Just feeling your leg muscles. So if you're younger, you feel it's quite easy, just, but don't take those muscles for granted. Use them or lose them, those leg muscles and glute muscles, but it's a little bit core as well. So you lean forward, maybe just change the cross. It's also a good test of your fitness leg strength. You might be getting a little bit puffed out, so that's normal because you're using some big muscles here. So your heart will need to work a little bit harder. If you're a little bit fitter, if it's stronger, you won't be as puffed. Let's do 10 more, 10, nine, a bit faster, eight. Don't worry if you can't keep up. I'm only 52 and I'm a yoga teacher and I've lost count. <laughs> Let's do four more. <laughs> Maybe I didn't do 10, I don't know. Okay, so that's good. The next one will work on balance and flexibility. So you might need one hand on the chair and if you're if you're flexible, it look it looks like this. So if you if you if you if you can do that, do that. If you can't balance, just have your hand on the wall or the chair. And if you're really stiff, you just grab your strap back. 
and you do it like this. So if you're really stiff, that's fine. You can do it like that. But if you're more flexible, do a little bit more. Just take it to your edge. Work on balance and flexibility in our hip flexors, our shoulder, our spine, hamstrings. One more breath. And then standing up straight. And if you need to strap or the chair for the other side, that's fine. Just keep doing your best and working on your body. You don't need to be good at it to get benefits. If you are actually good at yoga, you get less benefits. If you're finding it's all hard, keep doing it. It'll be the best thing you'll get. It'll be so good if you can prove your balance and your strength and your flexibility and your body awareness and your posture. You're going to be happier and healthier in your life and more energy, more positive. Last breath. This time, have your hands on the seat of the chair. Stretching out first, lengthening out your spine and releasing your lower back into flexion after the previous pose, which was extension in your lumbar spine and your hips. Remember, we're stimulating blood flow. We're thinking about, it's all about our muscles. Actually, the yoga exercises are even more important. What's even more beneficial for health is stimulating blood flow in different ways and lymph, which is your sewage system. Now we're gonna come into extension, so like this. So see how I'm arching my spine, looking up a little bit, trying to get a little stretch at the front. Arm muscles are working a bit there too. And exhale, chest towards feet. And then inhale, chest towards ceiling, looking up a little bit, just to your edge. A few more of them. So don't forget, yes, it's good to release our tight muscles, but the bigger health benefit with these exercises is the blood flow and the lymph flow, which is getting stagnant. The bad news is, as we get older, blood flow and lymph flow and gut flow stagnate. And then aging is accelerating in our cells. But the good news is you do things like this, these, all these exercises, and you can slow down aging and stay healthy into, into old, old age. Last one, maybe go a little bit further into the stretch. Really good. The next one is balance, hip flexion and rotation. And there's easier and harder. So the easier is you have one hand on the wall, okay, and one foot on the chair. If you're a bit more flexible, you don't need the wall. So you can just have your foot on the chair and then turning into towards that bent knee. So if your left knee's up, looking to your left. If you're a bit more flexible, you could have, if you can keep your back straight, you can have the legs straight. But if you're all hunched, do the bent knee one. So try to turn, lift the chest and turn. Tops the shoulders down away from your ears. Don't rush into the harder exercises. Final exhalation, next exhalation. Center up, standing in both feet. So you're either doing one leg, other leg up and just have your hand near the wall. Try to take your hand off the wall. But if you're more flexible, uh, if you're more 
confident in the middle of the room, you turning towards your leg that's up, keeping your back straight. And some people who are a bit more flexible and have done more of this, it's not just flexibility, it's balance and alignment. So some of you can do a little bit more. I do, a lot of, I do see a lot of people doing the harder ones, but they're out of alignment. So I think it's better to do the easier one and have a straighter spine. Next exhalation, final exhalation. Back to standing on both feet. And then hands back on the, you can choose the back of the chair, might feel best for your back, or the seat of the chair. And if you're more flexible, maybe put your hands on your shins or the feet or the floor. So just stretching forward again, whatever feels best for your back. Don't overstretch. And if you're new, don't rush into the more extreme stretches. You just keep it gentle at this beginning for your, see how your lower back feels. And if it all feels good, you can start to push it a bit more. But you definitely don't want to overstretch. Final exhalation, next exhalation, in whatever pose you're in. Okay, and then we're going to come down, slowly down to all fours onto the floor. All fours and cat cow spinal mobility. Inhale, look up and then exhale, look at your belly button. And once again, understanding that it's not just about stiff muscles. It's about health, it's about the blood flow, the circulation that gets stagnant, which is a real problem with speeding up aging in the body, in the skin, in the brain, in the trillions of cells. But there's also the lymph flow, which is the sewage system. Do you want to get a clogged sewage system and toxins to accumulate? So that, once again, accelerating cellular aging, no, we don't want that. We want to slow down. Aging. So think about, and gut flow. So it's not just about our muscles. Good work. Okay, so the next one is standing on your knees. And if you feel... Your, the, the mat is too thin. I've got a thick carpet, so but you could have a towel or a blanket or a thick mat under your knee. So bring one leg out. Actually do bent knee, which is easier. And then coming into inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So just you can put your hands wherever. Exhale, side stretch. Inhale, I quite like hands in prayer, it's quite meditative. Exhale, side stretch towards that leg. But you know, some of you can have that leg straight if you're a bit more flexible in your hips. Inhale, exhale. So these side muscles, if they get tight, they do make your whole spine stiffer, which makes your posture stiffer, which makes your breath stiffer and blood flow. So it's all connected. One more, inhale. We're going to hold gate pose. Remember, if you're stiffer, it might look like that. You just have to feel the right amount of stretch for you to get the benefit in your body. Not just your body and how you feel in your nervous system, in your mood, in your sleep. Final exhalation. Keep your core on to lift up and then stand on your knees. Feeling, one, feeling the circulation is different. You've got more blood flow in the side you've stretched. And then, so if you're a bit stiffer, just have the knee bent. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, find your own rhythm. If you're a bit more flexible, you can have the leg straight. But if you feel like you're not 
getting the side bend, just have the knee bent. So you can really get that side bend. So you're actually trying to get the chest turning up. So you look straight ahead and you try to look through your armpit. Once again, the most important instruction, just make it feel good. Let's hold now. Try to turn your chest up. Try to relax into it. Last breath. Firm through your core to come out of the pose. Kneeling. Try to sit back to your heels. If you're stiffer, just do halfway, but if you can sit right back and stretch forward. Taking a few breaths here. Really getting that flexibility into the ankles, knees, hips and spine. And then coming into plank pose, just keeping that chest strong and your arms strong. 30, squeeze your belly, make sure someone checks that you're not like that. Check in the mirror if you don't have someone at home. Keep that straight line, 20. If it's too easy for you, point one foot, point the other foot, do a push up, point, point, push up. One more point, point, push up. Hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So that was a bit too easy for me, but it's beginner's yoga, but that, yeah, I'll do more push-ups later. <laughs> and side plank for deep core, two more for core. So if you're a beginner, just keep your knees bent and lift your hips up, shoulders down. If you're more experienced, you can do it with straight legs. Holding your head, it's as much about the core, the strength around your neck as your abs and your hips. Top hip forward, shoulders down, no collapse. If you're collapsing, go to easier. Don't hold it for as long. 10, you can do little pulses. If it's too easy, lift that leg up, but I think it's hard enough for most people just holding up here. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Remember most people start here with the bent knees. You build up to the straight legs, shoulders down, holding your head, top hip forward. Keeping everything lifted in alignment, strengthening evenly around your spine. Little pulses is an option. Harder to have that leg there. 10. 3, 2, 1. And actually, I think it's, I think I lied. I think it's two more for your core. So we're going to do back muscles like this. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, elbows in back pockets. Squeeze your belly. Feet down, making your back strong. Inhale. Squeeze your belly, push your pubic bone down, put your elbows in your back pockets. Inhale, push your pubic bone down, squeeze your belly, chin tuck, elbows in back pockets. If you haven't done much yoga or Pilates, build up your back strength slowly. Maybe you've done enough. Some of you, a few more. Don't rush into this. You don't want to get a sore, stiff, tense back, but you definitely want a strong back because it's very, very important. Holding is an option if you're used to it. 10, but don't hold for too long. If you're not used to it, I think, I think you should be head down. Now I think it's enough. Five, two, one. Everybody lie on your belly. Oh, sorry, lie on your back. Hug your knees in. And then legs up and then lower and lift. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, 
You can have your hands under your back, beside your body. You can have, I like my hands behind my head and feel some deep muscles in front of the body, the flexors, the abs, the thighs. If you have got your head up, make sure you're not hunching. So you keep your neck into alignment. Some of you who aren't used to it might feel like that's enough. And if you feel it's just too easy and you could do it for ages, then you can do the harder one that I'm doing here, but don't rush into that because you just strain your back and that won't make you stronger. So just some of you is enough already. Just take it to your edge. Some of you a little bit more. Squeezing your belly. Ten more counts of whatever you're working on. It's fine if you're just hugging your knees in. Good. Windscreen wiper. Just releasing muscles around your hips and spine here. And then hugging your knees in. Lying on your side, trying to pull your heel in and stretch the front of the thigh. And then onto your other side. Try to breathe in and out through the nose. One more breath in and out. I love stretching, it puts you in a relaxed state. It's a really nice abductor stretch. So if you don't know what it is, have a quick look at me. You can do it in the middle of the room, but it's quite nice at the wall. That one, I'm trying to stretch your outer hip. So foot towards opposite shoulder. It's very good for your lower back. One more breath on this leg, in, out. Swapping the legs, abductor stretch. You can do it in the middle of the room or the wall is nice because it just, it just holds you in it. There's also pigeon pose, cross-legged forward. There's quite a few ways of doing it. If you're experienced with your yoga, you know there's lots of ways you can target muscles in so many different ways. try to tr um, do a lot of my videos because you'll just find so many different ways of making your body feel good not always doing the same video over and over simulate your mind and your body in different ways one last breath and then we'll just rest with the legs up the wall that's one option or you might prefer if you have a really sore lower back, you actually might prefer this option. And that might just feel like it's, if your back feels really stiff, that might feel really good for you. I might just stay here now I'm here. So legs up the wall or legs up on the chair. And for, this is relaxation. So you've earned your relaxation. You've committed to moving your body 
and stretching and a little bit of strengthening and now everything letting go. Focus on your body breathing in and out. Pause. Inhaling in through the nose. Relax belly. Exhaling. Pause. Now let's take a deeper breath in, fully in, belly, then chest. And then a little bit more. And then really slowly out through your nose or your mouth. As slow as you can. You might not be able to go as slow. We're all different. In. Deeply in. Fully in. And then a little bit more. And then slow as you can out. Try a bit of air out through the mouth, out through the nose. Gently squeeze Mulla Bandha at the end. Pelvic floors and deep abs, deep core. Get all the air out. One more like that. Fully in. And a little bit more. And as slow as you can out. Last pose, no chair, no wall, or oh, stay at the chair if you like. It's fine if you want to stay where you are. If your heart can handle being inverted. If when you're older you need to be a bit more careful of being inverted for too long. Shavasana, not doing anything. Just focusing on your natural breath, focusing on your body. Just feeling your body breathing. Feeling you have lubricated around your hips and spine, your whole body. Just quiet breathing in and out through the nose. Keeping your awareness present in your body. Face a bit softer, eyes heavy, eyeballs steady, eyeballs heavy. Get a little bit more release through your jaw, tongue whole face, throat, whole body sinking down. When you get into a conscious, relaxed state, a little bit of magic happens starting in the deep brain and the benefits go through every cell, trillions of cells, your whole body. into your inflammation, into your sleep, into your mood, into your digestive system, your energy. Try to hold on to a peaceful state for as long as you can in your day, in your life.
Notice the reset. If you need to stay for longer, press pause on your device. It's a good thing to do. It's about connecting into yourself, which is deep peace. Connecting into the present. If you're ready to move, just bring one knee and the other knee in. Roll to the side. I love yoga. Oh. Oh, I'm so busy and in my life and I just do this and it is I just can feel how good it is it just keeps me healthy physically and mentally um, and I hope you're benefiting too and do all my videos keep it up let's 15 years younger is a bit ambitious but <laughs> at least be 10 years younger in your body <laughs> but let's go for 15. Thank you.